What's up guys, Garrett over self.dev. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to disable secure boot mode on your computer. Why do you want to disable secure boot mode? Well, I'm sure you've got your own reason. That's why you're here. I wanted to disable it so I could run Kali Linux or install Kali Linux on my laptop. So that's my reason. So what we're gonna do, we've got to get into the advanced options menu, then we can go to the BIOS settings and then we can disable secure boot mode. So let's do it. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna to go to the bottom left corner here. We're gonna click on the Windows icon. We're gonna to go to power, click on power, hold down shift on your keyboard, and then we're gonna press restart. And keep holding down shift, and this is gonna get us into the advanced options menu. It'll be like a blue screen. If this doesn't work, you might have like an older computer. You uh, can try repeatedly pressing F12, F11, F2, or F1. You might have to Google how to get into the advanced options menu with your computer model, because some of them are tricky. But this is the way most new computers do it, and it's super easy. So once we're there, we're gonna go down to Troubleshoot, click Enter, go to Advanced Options, press Enter, go to UEFI Firmware Settings, press Enter, and then click restart. And that will get us into the BIOS menu. So now we just gotta wait a second for that to load. I am filming on my phone, filming my laptop, because I couldn't figure out a way to record this on my main computer, because I can't like I can't record while my computer is restarting, because that just doesn't work like that. But yeah, once it's done, we'll be in the, uh, the BIOS menu here. Uh, we're gonna go over to security. We're gonna go down to secure boot mode. As you can see, mine's already disabled, but all you have to do is press enter, change it from enabled to disabled, and then press F10 and that will save and exit. It's not working for some reason, so we're just gonna go over to exit and we're gonna press enter on exit saving changes. And then exit saving changes, yes and then your secure boot mode will be disabled and you can proceed with whatever you were doing before you got to this video. So hope that helps out. Um, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below and we've got a Discord if you wanna come ask questions in there or post fun memes or stuff like that. I do resume reviews. Um, I also do monthly projects for front end devs if you want like projects to practice on. It's one of the biggest things I struggle with, like deciding what to build when I was trying to learn to be a front end dev. And I, yeah, that's it. So I'll see you next time. Peace.